Wakey, wakey, rise and shining. <laughs> I love that. Anyway, hi, morning. Yay, another day, another vlog. Woohoo. Um, so I'm feeling very. I feel like to talk about fashion. Don't, don't, don't assume I'm like some amazing fashion person. I'm not. I'm definitely not the be all and end all when it comes to fashion. Because I have a really strange fashion sense. I just wear whatever, really. Um, what did I come up here for? I hate that when you go upstairs and you're like, what did, what did I want? Okay, I came here for my book. Anyway, um, so yeah, today is what I would call a people day. And by that I mean, like, sometimes I feel like I'm having a Topshop day when I'm wearing like loads of Topshop clothes. Or sometimes I'm wearing like, I don't know, particularly high street or random or charity shop clothes. Anyway, today I'm wearing things that mean things. So like my headband is a fancy dress thing that was like a cowboy thing that my mum wore and that I wore like as a fancy dress thing. And um and then my, my bracelets, this one, this one, I made when I was like seven. This one my auntie Irene gave to me. This 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 watch doesn't actually work, but it's my nan's. Um this this badge is my Lambda Dance and Academy acting thing, like a bronze award. This is my prefect badge that I had when I was a prefect. Um, this is my mom's from Canada. I think it's something to do with skiing. This this waistcoat is my dad's. This top belongs to a girl called Amy. These shorts are my dad's. These Converse are mine, but I custom I customized them myself. Um, this bag, my friend Jazzy, my friend Jazzy actually made for me. Um, this necklace I made myself, like it's it's an earring and and a chain, anyway, and a link that I put together, um, and yeah, so that's that's why I'm feeling all peoply today. Anyway, I'm gonna go out now and see Eric. Um, catch you later. I'm vlogging here. How rude. <laughs> something that Seth does, like something to do. Anyway, um, yeah. So someone just told me, and you know who you are, um, that my vlogs make her happy. Um. And that's really, really cool because, like, I really only set out to do these vlogs because I sort of just felt like I wanted to. And also, I'd, I'd like to record my summer because it'll just be really nice to watch, like, even if nobody watches them, you know? Um, anyway, and her just saying that makes me feel like, because vlogs can become really self-involved and obnoxious, pretentious really annoying and I, I don't know some people might think that why not I don't I don't know if that's your opinion but um but anyway at least I've made one person happy and to me that, that makes it worth it so I'm sitting in a cafe where the North Fielding's artwork and stuff and with Eric Hello. Hey. um <laughs> and look that's ridiculous stuff like I eat human flesh I was here before when um he had um, an exhibition like two years ago, but it was more Julian Barrett-y, and now it's all North Building, because it's arts dealer owns this cafe, which is awesome by the way. Maison Berteau, Soho. It's Eric's first cup of tea in England. <laughs> it is, and it's proper tea. Yeah, with a strainer and the tea, tea cup thing. Yeah, so go, go. Is it, it's quite hot probably. It is quite hot, it's, it's good. <laughs> So I'm done, uh, Eric has gone home with his family and um, yeah, it's a really nice day and um, we're just fine vlogging. <laughs> Sorry. And, um, yeah, um, yeah, it's really good, we just walked around the city like sort of everywhere. I didn't like do anything anywhere particularly, like just sort of wandered about, chatted, it was really lovely. Um, we had tea as you saw in the North Hooding Cafe where hey, and um, because it's the only place I could find that like really does proper tea, like that you, you do, like with tea, tea leaves and stuff. Anyway, um, oh yeah, we went to Lush, and um, I was trying to find a gift for someone, and I asked this guy, and I was like, um, excuse me, do you have this type of something or other? And um, he was like, no, we don't have that, but we do have this. And then he grabbed my arm, I was like rubbing this um body wash all over my arm, and um, he was like, and now smell your arm, and I was like weird and then he's like oh what's that on your arm and, and it's like it's it's eczema 
I was like, oh, it's eczema. He's like, it's not psoriasis. I'm like, psoriasis? No, it's eczema. And he's like, hmm, do you, do you, have you used any Lush stuff? And I was like, I have actually, and it didn't work. <laughs> he was like, well, okay then. And I went away, and then he came over to me, and he was like, look, I just really want you to try this again. He gave me some pots of, like, cream and equipment. <laughs> and I just threw freebies at me. It was awesome. Um, but, yeah, it was a bit like, whoa, he really feels passionate about curing my eczema. <laughs> Oh, it's nice. Anyway, it's just smushed in my bag. Luckily, it smells like lavender. But even so, it's kind of irritating. Anyway, um, so I didn't vlog about my dream. I dreamt last night. I had a really weird dream that, like, first of all, I dreamt I was in a field with Seth, and it started raining. And he had this, like, I think it was probably to do with this kimono. He has a kimono. <laughs> it's cool. Um, and. And he like put his arms out and he had this like big thing that was like protecting me but someone else was like no no i need Seth to cover me and i was like what i need but it's raining and i want Seth to cover me anyway i don't know who it was and um and then and then like i i had this dream this was in, like narnia and i was able to go into this crazy cool land and um but i could only really like i couldn't no one could come with me but i really really wanted Seth to see it and <laughs> the way you got into it I know my mind is really crazy, but um, the way you got into it was through the toilet. And you had to sit on the toilet and flush the toilet, and you would like spin round into this crazy land. Anyway, and I went down there, and I was like, "Look, I really want to, really want my friend Seth to come, please." And there was like this council of elderly people, and and they had to like debate. But then my friend Doug appeared, and he was like, "Oh, I really want to go." And they were like, "Well, only one person can go," and because Seth wasn't there to argue his side, and Doug was, so they were like, "Well, Doug can go." And I was like, no, no, I want Seth to go. And they were like, no, it has to be the person who's here and Seth isn't here. And I was like, no. And, um, <coughs> and I was really upset. And then I went up to Seth and we just spent the day in a forest. <laughs> I know, I'm crazy. Anyway, I'm getting home now. And I'm going to go around to my friend Joe's tonight. I don't think I'm going to vlog. I'm going to leave my camera here. So it'll be, it'll be a nice evening, I think. We're going to have a barbecue and I might come back home with Nancy and Ben, Ben's groovy movie YouTube. Um, anyway, but um, but I think I might just crash there because I'm lazy and I can't afford train fare. <laughs> Simply put, and I have nothing to do the next day, so why not? All right then.